uh, fulfilled one of my dreams today without even going out west. Been getting pictures of this buck. There's a little oak flat up here right behind this house up here. I don't know what sounds speechless. And this buck just showed up on camera, him and a couple other little bucks. Been getting here at like 6.30 to right, which is right at shooting light to 7.30. Well, here it is, it's almost nine probably. Didn't show up. The little buck that's been traveling with him come in there. It already shed its velvet. Always wanted to kill a velvet buck. This one finally came in, and as you can see in the video, he just stood around. There was a doe that was up there messing around. It kind of busted, just moving. She ran right past him, and he didn't even... He just stood there and stood there and stood there. And as you can see in the footage, I hit him high. Not only is he a velvet buck, he's a good velvet buck. I mean, I, I misjudged him. I figured 125-ish when we was getting pictures. I think this deer may push 140 as an eight-pointer. Just the mass and the beams are unreal. So let's go look at him. He's he's one of my best. What do you think of that? Man, that is awesome. Dandy buck. Super massive. Afraid to squeeze too much. I'm gonna try to save the velvet if I can. Like I said, a dream come true for me. Two things. A velvet buck. A buck off my own nine acres here, which Never thought I'd see something like this on here. He started showing up on, like, there's a bunch of oaks right there at the edge of my backyard. Because we knew that they were, usually he's been coming through about a quarter to seven and we wanted to get plenty of time in there, but he didn't get in there to almost nine. <clears throat> now he's gonna take a ride in the truck. All I could say is we did it. Thanks, buddy. Woo! That is awesome. But, I'm full-time cameraman as far as bucks goes for <laughs> six, eight weeks now. You heard it here. Yep. <laughs> oh, now look.